the city of the future to be sustainable and livable will require public transit as its backbone. Uh, autonomous vehicles, pod car systems will play a vital role in ensuring that cities remain accessible uh, also with the growing trend of urbanization. The major challenge uh, towards these systems right now is to get them to a level of maturity, to get away from demonstrations and to get to permanent uh, applications. And the only way to get there is what we've seen throughout the history is by introducing regulations and standardization. Out of all the conferences that you can visit on autonomous systems and pod cars, the pod car conference is the only one that combines the pod cars and the autonomous vehicles and actually has people organizing it that believe and share the vision and are, are not just organizing a conference. It's well worth attending. Driverless technology is going to play a role in our future. We may not know what it looks like or, or how we're going to roll it out, but it has a place, just like every transit uh, method has a place. So now is the best time to start planning projects and finding the situations where uh, we've found no other solution, where pod cars make sense. This is uh, disruptive to some, but it shouldn't scare us away from making bold moves toward improving our future in transportation. In the U.S., the federal government plays a big role in transportation policy. And uh, what we find is that federal uh, policymakers as well as elected officials have a bias toward road building and opposed to transit. They see transit as a public welfare system as opposed to a vital public utility. But maybe we're at a tipping point now and maybe we can start thinking differently about uh, transit. I know the millennials uh, want multimodal systems and I'm hoping that we can start moving in that direction. Live events give you more than what you can get from social media. You get face-to-face -face time with people who are like-minded and share your passion in transit. And you will, you will make relationships that will serve you the rest of your career. But in particular, in Sweden, I had such a great time because I got to actually experience a culture that embraces transit and has a, a truly intermodal system and, uh, and actually to use the system. So uh, periodically, we all need to get out and uh, experience other cultures and other settings, and it will really help you grow and learn and go home with a fresh perspective. Most experts agree that the only sustainable solution to urban traffic problems is to prioritize public transportation over the use of the private automobile. Podcar systems offer a unique solution that is actually capable of attracting automobile users. There are two challenges to the widespread adoption of pod car and ATM systems. One of them is a lack of knowledge, even among public transportation planners and urban planners of these types of systems, especially in their new generation. The second challenge is convincing these experts that pod car systems actually have the capability of being mass transit systems. What we can do to address these issues are specifically things like these conferences where new systems get presented to the experts. I think it's important for people not just from the United States and Sweden to attend this conference, but people from cities and countries with developing and emerging economies, because it is precisely in these cities that PODCAR and ATN systems have the capability of helping to improve urban mobility at a cost that is actually accessible to these cities. I think the key here is sharing and sharing transportation uh, and using the most clever choice or most sustainable choice for each part of the transportation. Uh, so, podcar systems or small autonomous buses 
can complement high capacity public transport and create a more sustainable transportation system. Of course, there are a lot of challenges with the autonomous vehicles, including technology and legislation, for example. But the biggest challenge to reach sustainable transportation is behavior change. Uh, we are used to travel alone in our own private cars, and we need to change towards a more sustainable transportation with shared uh, mobility. And to do this, we need to create systems, shared systems that are more attractive, but we also need to provide more information to people about how to access the system and how to use them. People should attend the Podcar City conference in Gävle to meet others uh, and share experience, knowledge and expertise on how to create sustainable shared transportation systems. A major problem facing podcast systems is the lack of knowledge. The general public quickly understands the concept of on-demand transportation that takes you to your destination non-stop. However, transportation professionals struggle with this. There are too many unanswered questions, too many things to know. In order to overcome this lack of knowledge, two things need to happen. First, People, and especially transportation professionals, need to attend the Podcar City Conference in Galway, Sweden, this year. Second, we need to start deploying larger podcast systems. The ones in existence are simply campus-type systems, and they're not really providing urban transportation solutions. We need large systems with hundreds of stations carrying tens of thousands of people daily through urban areas. Fortunately, these large deployments are starting to happen in the East and the Middle East. And as they do, and people see what a transportation workhorse podcasts are, these systems will catch on. I think that it's important to build such systems and to implement them in an early phase to make sure that it's built and adapted uh, based on the user's uh, needs and uh, the user wants. Uh, so uh, it's important to have such systems tested on real users, implemented in real, in real context. One of the main challenges is to uh, make it attractive enough for the users, uh, to make sure it's, it's so attractive so that you even will leave your car at home. and. To do this, we need to involve the users in an early phase and to implement the systems in real traffic environment that is not only from one point to another, but that is really uh, more flexible than that, uh, to make it possible to, to use such solutions as a part of a shared uh, transport solution. And to make this happen, we need to really face the user's view. I think it's very important with uh, conferences like this uh, because here you can meet people that have an interest in the same areas as you. You can benefit from lessons learned and you can also share your ideas and discuss topics that is relevant for podcar implementation in the transport system. Uh, I think this, uh, this is a great opportunity to, to really talk about how to develop such systems in the future.